Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you how we made the low profile rack mounts for our solar panels to mount to the um, roof rack that we purchased. So if you guys want to see the roof rack that we mounted, check out the channel playlist for that video. Otherwise, we're just going to pick up as if you already knew how that went on and show you guys how to make the cross members to mount the actual solar panels to. All right, so the first step is figuring out how long the cross member needs to be. We utilized a really helpful video from Jason Clunk. If you don't follow him, check it out. He's got some really helpful uh, how-to videos. And essentially what you're looking for is we used a one by two piece of wood to use as a template to cross uh, across the top of the van and figure out our distance from bolt to bolt. Um, and then we use that as a template in order to cut our aluminum down to size. So we felt more comfortable doing that because angle aluminum is pretty expensive and it kind of makes sense to just template it on a one by two because it costs like 80 cents as opposed to $80. So that's step one. Second step will be to uh, actually drill the holes for the solar panels to mount to and we use a drill press in my dad's wood shop. If you have a drill press, it's gonna make this step way easier. If not, then just make sure that you have a solid workbench with uh, really good vices, otherwise the drill bit will probably try to walk a little bit um, or your aluminum will move. And then the last step would be mounting the cross members to the actual roof of the van and then mounting the solar panels to them. So without further ado, let's get started. What you working on? Making a template for the cross members for our roof rack. So we cut this one by two down to size and drilled some holes for the bolts uh, that are going to hold our angle aluminum down to the rails that we have up there right now. Um, so yeah, just doing a bit of math right now because I'm trying to transfer these holes onto our angle aluminum. Uh, but we have some dimensional differences to work out, so. So things were moving so fast that I didn't get video of it. But, cut our, cut our cross beams down to the exact width of the bolts in the channel on the roof. And then used the drill press to drill the holes for where the bolts stick up on there. And now, made this little cardboard area, laid them out, how they're gonna be on the roof. We're gonna put down the solar panels, mark where the solar panel holes need to be on these cross channels, and then we will drill press all those out. And then in theory, we have ourselves a custom solar roof rack. got our solar panels all laid out here against our angle aluminum and essentially what we're going to try to do is line up where these holes are on the solar panels to where we want the matching holes to be on our angle aluminum so that we can mount these to our cross beams when we're ready. Um, we have 5 16 inch hardware. This is the same thickness as what we have to mount our cross beams to the rails on the van. So 5 16 inch bolt means a 3 8 inch hole so that you can uh, slide it in pretty easy. So we're going to use that. Um, essentially, we're going to go ahead and have the solar panels about an inch apart in the middle and we'll just need to make sure that they're centered up on our angle aluminum before we transpose where these holes are onto the angle aluminum. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do some measuring and line it all out. Okay. Well, we measured several times and we think we're in the right spot on all these holes, so we're gonna go ahead and drill them out. And if it doesn't work out, then we wasted $80. <laughs>
One down. <laughs> Fifteen to go. Is it that many? It's eight and eight, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Tell the people how that went for you? Oh, um, I think overall it was a lot easier to use the drill press than it would have been to drill it out manually uh, with a drill, but they're still not all quite perfect, which we're perfectionists, so that's a little irritating. Um, but it's okay, I think they're good enough. Thankfully, the holes on the Ren and U solar panels are actually pretty large, so they should line up. We're gonna take them outside and double check. So now we just flip the panels over and set them on it and hope for the best. Flip the aluminum channel over and set them on the panels so we don't have to flip them over. <laughs> what do you got? That looks good except that, this one. That one's off a little, huh? I don't know if you can get a bolt in there. And then, how's that? Good. So let's get that little bolt and see if we can fit it in these holes. So let's leave that one there. Okay. Making money on these ones. Bueno. It looks pretty good. Those ones are like dead on. Alright. You want to bring it over and show them? 15 out of 16 ain't bad. We're just going to have to uh, file one out just a little bit. So you can see this hole where it overlaps with the Renogy panel. Uh, we, we put our hole in too far this way, so we're going to ream out this side of it, and then that bolt should fit just fine. And then it will be perfect. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I already did it before she was watching. <laughs> so I think it's there. Note the uh, flip-flops and socks. Yeah, it's the best That's attire. That's how we work. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. That's how we actually made the cross members here for mounting our solar panels to the roof of the van. The day that we mounted these panels was actually really windy and crazy weather, so we didn't actually film anything that day. But essentially, it's pretty easy and self-explanatory. You guys saw how we lined up the holes um, on the solar panels, so those were all ready to go. And essentially, we just mounted the solar panels to the angle aluminum so it was one solid unit, and then we lifted it up onto the roof uh, and put them on our bolts here. So again, we talked about these bolts in the roof rack video. If you guys didn't see that video, check it out. Um, but these bolts fit into this channel on our roof rack here. And then up, you can see it comes up into the angle aluminum um, holding that down. And then we have this rubber foot here that is a spacer. So, um, yeah it's it's pretty clean it's low profile it was not very expensive um i would do it again but i would probably use like an 80 20 aluminum instead of the angle aluminum we did notice that it does flex a little bit so we have some rubber feet underneath the middle uh just kind of jammed in there and that seems to be holding up just fine so thanks again for watching this is our video on how to make your own cross members for solar panels and uh, be sure to like, subscribe, leave us a comment, question. We love helping you guys out, so let us know what you need. Thanks again.